Hello, my beautiful Virgos. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com. Here to bring you your monthly forecast for will you actually turn for November 2019. So it's going to be the ex that you are really feeling the most, the one you want to be with, the one that you're thinking about, okay, the one you're here for. And if you want more information, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And of course, if this doesn't resonate with you or you want me to draw upon your own personal energies, because remember, these are general, you can always get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or checking out the description box below. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how does your ex feel about you? What are they? What is their thoughts, their feelings about you? And um, what's the blockage between you guys? What's keeping you guys apart, okay? And how do they feel about having a reconciliation with you? And will there actually be a reconciliation in the month of November? And of course, we're going to do advice. So to kind of help you with your situation, Spirit's gonna give you some suggestions using the Romance Angels. And of course, you have free will, so you don't have to take the advice if you don't want to. All right, let's jump right in. So, how does my Virgo's ex-love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does my Virgo's ex-love interest feel about them romantically in the month of November? How does my Virgo ex-love interest feel about them romantically in the month of November 2019? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, so Virgo, your love interest feels defensive. They feel like there's a test of faith here. They feel like they're, there's something eating away at them. Okay, because the mice is a, a symbol of... It's eating away, it's wary. There's wary here, there's something eating away at them and they feel defensive about love when it comes to you. The king tells me, king of pentacles, obviously this is your energy, you're an earth energy. Um, they do feel that you are a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitment. They feel that you're loyal, you're stable. You know, that's the king of pentacles energy. And it's also possibly a good with your money here. Um, Knight of Swords energy shows me that maybe they feel that there is a little bit of an argative, mentive uh, uh, issue going on here with the Knight of Pentacles. Something to do with harsh energy, argumentative energy, or something that they feel needs to be cut out here with the Knight of Swords energy. They are feeling a little bit confused with the Moon card, or they feel like something is hidden here, or they feel like something is deceptive with the Moon card energy. And they're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating when it comes to you. Let's just move these cards down for you guys. They're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating when it comes to you. You can see this person may not even, you know, uh, they're kind of like hiding away here. And they're kind of like trying to get to the bottom of something. This person's like, you know, hiding here and they're just like waiting for this person to come. It's like almost like a, um, a hidden energy there, okay, of them thinking and contemplating. And what are they thinking and contemplating about? They are thinking and contemplating about that moon energy. And also, it's next to the Knight of Swords. So the central issue here, or the central thing about their feelings, is something to do with the King uh, Knight of Swords. So it's like, uh, and the King of Pentacles is looking at the Knight of Swords. So it's like the 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 the, the thing that around here is like they want some kind of something fast here. They feel like they want something fast. They feel like they want something cut out pertaining to something hidden, or deceptive here and or confusion here pertaining to you and they've been doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about that because the knight of swords is looking towards the moon and the moon obviously is a hidden energy it's a deceptive energy it's a confusion energy it's like almost like they feel like they want that cut out and then this four of swords is looking over at the moon as well so it's like they're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about that and also the king is kind of looking over in that direction as well hmm okay So, what's the blockage? What's keeping my Virgos apart from their ex love interest? What's keeping my Virgos apart from their ex love interest for the month of November? What's what's blocking these two romantically? What's blocking these two romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good.
So there's your energy, Virgo. Um, so you could be blocking it. This is the Hermit card. So what did I say? They're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating, right? Uh, about something that could be hidden or deceptive. So this could be your ex's energy too, or it could be your energy because this is your card actually. Um, so it's a lot of isolation. Okay, so the hermit is somebody who's isolating themselves and they're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about things and soul searching because obviously this person's trying to shine a light on something. And it seems to be something surrounding that moon energy, okay, and that knight of swords. And what's going on? What are they trying to think and contemplate about? Or, you, or, or what are you trying to think and contemplate about? And this is something to do with a soulmate connection, okay? So there's some thinking, and it's something spiritual here because the hermit is something spiritual. And then we talk about the soulmate connection. So there's something spiritual here going on with the blockage because it's something to do with a soulmate connection and a choice towards love. <laughs> Look at that. The Hierophant card, again, is pointing to a spiritual uh, situation. It's like there's someone here that's not using their intuition. Okay, so some analyzation needs to happen here okay or something someone's isolating themselves to kind of think about things soul search about things because the fact that they these that there's a sense of a soulmate connection here or someone needs to use their heart over their head to make a choice and needs to use their intuition in the situation with the high priestess card and obviously we had the knight of swords for the feelings obviously that's a harsh argumentative energy in the Queen of Swords is someone who is telling it like it is. So there could be an energy of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here as well. That could be a blockage in the situation or the fact that there could be some words that are being spoken that may be not being spoken in the most political way because obviously it's a blockage here. And uh, the healing needs to happen here with the Six of Swords energy, something surrounding moving into calmer waters, you know, getting over some kind of hurt and pain. So what is the blockage here? So it's, it's, it's around the fact that there needs to be some soul searching needs to be done here about the fact that there's a soulmate connection and there needs to be someone here who needs to use their intuition and tell it like it is in a political way, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a delicate way, whereas the, I saw the Knight of Swords is more of a harsh, like coming at you kind of way and that will bring some kind of healing here because that's that's also the blockage at the end card the six is healing uh moving into common water seeing the light at the end of the tunnel that needs to happen here and obviously let's just go back to the central theme was surrounding using someone needs to use their intuition okay or someone feels that there's something secret because that moon card because the high priestess can be using your intuition, but it can also be something surrounding secrets. Okay, so how does Virgo's ex love interest feel about having a reconciliation with Virgo? How does Virgo's ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how do they feel about having a reconciliation with Virgo in the month of November? Show me the cards you need to see, and the cards you need to see. All right, that feels good. Let's see here. Hmm. They feel defensive about it. They feel like something's eating away at them. They feel like there's a test of faith here. Uh, they feel like this could be a risk here with the full card, or they feel like they, they want to take a leap of faith, possibly to something new, because of something that could be secret with the high priestess, or the fact that they want to use their intuition, or they feel someone needs to use their intuition. We got the hermit card which is soul searching, contemplating, you know, isolation, researching, figuring things out. And look at that. I do feel like they feel like something secret here because that hermit card is looking at the high priestess card. Look at that with his, with his, um, with his lamp, he's shining it onto the high priestess and the high priestess can represent secrets or something that's yet to be known. It's like they want, they want some kind of knowledge here about this. And because of this is the reason why they feel defensive about the whole thing. And right after that is true love. So they do see you as true love, Ace of Cups energy. They see this as a potential opportunity of love. And it's, and it's right in back of that where they're trying to figure out like, okay, I think there's a spiritual connection here, okay? So the blockage is 
Maybe they feel that you don't feel that there's a spiritual connection here, but they feel like there's a spiritual connection here. And it's like they want that revealed to you, Virgo. Uh, and otherwise, they feel like it's a risk to them, and they feel defensive about this. Uh, and it's a test of faith to them. They, In a way, they feel like this is a test of faith to them spiritually, because the spiritual cards keep coming up for you, Virgo. Okay, so with you and your ex. And right in back of that hermit card is love, true love. Ace of Cups energy. So, and we did see in the feelings, I think it was the feelings of the blockage, it was something to do with a soulmate connection. So, um, they are seeing this as a spiritual connection. Hmm. And they, and they want that revealed to you. Okay. So, how does Virgo's ex-love interest, well, will Virgo and Virgo's ex-love interest have a reconciliation will virgo and virgo's ex love interest have a reconciliation will they get back together in the month of november will they get back together in the month of november will virgo and virgo's ex love interest the one here for the one they want to know about the most will they get back together in the month of november show me the cards you need to see show me the cards you need to see all right let's take a look at this okay okay three of swords there's heartache here there's longing and this seems to be the anchor here and obviously threes three of swords can say there could be another person as well there's a patient energy because of Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy someone's just trying to figure out do I want to do this long-term thing or not someone could be gaining some kind of advice here and the Emperor energy tells me that there could be something surrounding control or authority figures here with the with the emperor card so that's interesting there's a motherly energy here and a fatherly energy here because the queen of pentacles is a nurturing motherly kind of energy and the emperor is a fatherly uh it's like the father of the um tarot here of the of major arcana so it's an authority figure taking charge of the situation let's throw one more card in there hmm interesting cards i mean it's a lot of people cards here too uh, page of Wands shows me there could be a message of passion thrown your way. So here's, let's just read it. There is some kind of heartache and longing here with the Three of Swords energy and a patient energy here uh, about what someone wants in the long term. And then someone decides to take charge of it with the Emperor energy to send a message of passion. Okay, so someone, I don't know if it's you or the other person, someone's going to send some kind of message of passion with the Page of Wands energy. Um, yeah, because of heartache and longing here. All right, so I, I don't see you guys completely getting together, getting back together, but there is some type of message of passion that's going to be sent. I don't know what's, if it's you or the other person. So let me get some advice for you, Virgo. Okay, so can I have some advice for Virgo? What should they do about their ex-love interest for the month of November, please? What should Virgo do about their ex-love interest for the month of November, please? What should Virgo do about their ex-love interest in the month of November, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So they're suggesting to you, Virgo, to forgive, okay? To forgive. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in the present moment. And they're saying to allow your friends to help you with the situation. And there's something pertaining to the situation that could involve marriage or long-term commitment here. So they're saying to forgive and release from the past and to have your friends help you and support here because there's something to do with marriage and long-term commitment. That's an issue or something. This situation involves marriage somehow. Okay. All right, my Virgos. So what do I see for you guys? I see that there's going to be some type of message of passion because someone is longing for someone. And uh, there is a contemplation here about what someone wants on the long-term basis. And also that's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Someone takes charge of this, takes an authority figure, takes a leadership role to send some kind of message of passion. That's what it looks like to me. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate with you or you want me to draw upon your own personal energies, because remember, these are general, you can always get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or checking out the description box below. All right, guys, have a great month. I love you so much.